we're going to show you a little bit about the slide rooms that are on this coach. Numar uses a proprietary slide system on most of their slides that's driven by, it's, it's all electric, it's driven by these great big cast iron cog wheels. We'll get you a picture of that on the website. Now, those uh, particular cog wheels, uh, they, it uses anywhere from one to four of those depending on the size of the slide room. It's a very low, um, slow, uh, low geared motor that runs them in and out, and they're very reliable slide outs. And then depending on the price point of coach we're at, they have different locking systems um, in regards to their slides. So first of all, what is a locking system and what is this weird bar I'm holding here? It's not a branding iron, so um, th that's number one. But what is a locking system? Well, what a locking system does, people think, well, it keeps your, your slide from going out while you're going down the road. That's not what a, what a locking system does. What a, what a locking system on a motorhome does is keep the top of the slide in as tight as the bottom of the slide is in. So all of the gearing for most slide systems out there in the, in the marketplace are underneath the floor. They're underneath the slide. Those big cog wheels are underneath this floor and they're put in in the chassis prep portion of the, of the motorhome build. Well, that holds the bottom of it in really, really tight, but here we are seven, eight feet taller way up at the top, what's holding that in? And, and the way I always try to get people to imagine is, you know, think if you're gonna hang a piece of plywood on the side of a barn and you only put screws in at the bottom of that piece of plywood, well, you could put enough screws in there to probably hold it up there, sorta, but the top's gonna wanna gap out. Okay, same thing happens here. There, you've got those, those cog wheels. When those motors are locked, those cog wheels are holding that, that slide in tight as can be at the bottom. But when you go over a bump or you, you, you know, you're, you're going across bumpy roads, could that top move a little bit? Well, yeah, it possibly can. So that's what slides, uh, slide locks are. These slide locks on here, Numar's been using for oh, probably 20 plus years. Um, these are uh, the tried and true system. They're also the least expensive. So you find it on some of your lesser expensive coaches. So so that's what you're looking at here. That's just like an elbow. I always explain to people when the elbow's locked, the slide's going nowhere. When the elbow's unlocked, the, the slide will move. So right now, if you tried to move this slide, bad things would happen. Now, I can take on this particular one, I can take and just unlock that by pulling down on it. And see, now that slide, I can, I can make it move a little bit. That's what would happen going down the road if it were not locked. Now, does everybody lock their slides going down the road? No, honestly, probably most people don't. But you can, and that's the most important thing. You just can't forget that it's locked. All right, now, what's the meaning of this funky tool? Well, although on this one, I can lock and unlock this with my hand right here, it does take a fair amount of strength, and that works pretty well, but what if I tried to get to this slide lock that's back here? I can barely touch it. I certainly couldn't get in there with any leverage, and then think about the ones on the bedroom slides. They're even worse. So that's what this little tool does. We'll go back up front here. Sorry, Tony, <laughs> he followed me. Um, to show you how this works, and it works the same on the, up here where it's wide open as it does back there. It's just easier to film up here. So if I wanna use my special tool to lock the slides, I put it right in here like this, and I simply lift up on it, and the slide locks. That can also be a little bit of a finger pincher, so even if it's an easy to get to, one, it's not a bad idea to uh, um, use the, the tool. If I want to unlock it, I simply reverse the procedure here and push down. Okay, so that's all there is to the new Mar slide lock system that's on this motorhome and on other gas Numar motorhomes. Um, sometimes even on a Ventana LE, you'll see this system out there. So that's a little bit about that. Now let's get these slides. We'll show you how they open up. There's a button, and in this case, Okay, the button for our slide out is located in this uh, place right here. The, the, this is kind of a, a center for all things controlled by the coach. Normally this is above the door um, in a, in a uh, gas coach, but because this is our accessibility coach, they put all this down low. All right, so let's run our slide room out. You can see it's very quiet and it's very slow. It's not in any hurry. Some people really want to see this. Other people are probably rolling their eyes at me right now that we're making you watch this. Now fast forward 30 seconds if, uh, if you want to. This is a flat floor slide. So as you can see right now, that floor is raised at the bottom. As this slide goes out, it will actually run down a little ramp and that will become level. There we go. So we have, now we have a nice flat floor transition there. Plenty of room here. 
I've already unlocked these rear slides, so we'll run those out as well. Your switches for these, it's over on this side, right on the back of the shower here. So this slide is moving. Do this slide. So we have a triple slide coach with a queen bed. It is a walk around queen bed with accessibility for a wheelchair right next to it and easy transfer. There we go. And there is just, well, on the lower bed, there's not as much storage underneath the bed, but there is some. So I'm just gonna put that little rod right in there. Perfect place for it. And let's continue on. <laughs>